first round of the playoffs, and his time in Brooklyn has been less than stellar. Much of it not his fault, though. The two-time champs rep has taken a hit, and now Shaquille O'Neal is joining in on the jokes, posting a fan tweet on his Instagram story, which sarcastically listed Kevin Durant's accomplishments since he left Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors in 2019. One through three, blank the end. Um, Stephen A. Yes. Do you think KD should regret leaving Steph and the Warriors? Yes. And I believe that because of the selection he has made. It's not that he left Golden State. It's what he left Golden State for. Um, I believe from a business perspective, no matter how much his brand may be worth, it is nothing compared to what it would have been worth if he were a New York Nick. I think the level of support that he would have had with that brand would have at least doubled, potentially tripled the value of the KD brand. That's number one. But the biggest thing, and I've said this before, Doggy, and I don't know if you've heard me say this, so I'll say this with you on the air. I, I, I got a lot of love and respect for Kevin Durant. Um, I, I've, gotten, I've gotten to know him a little bit over the years, and I respect the hell out of him, and we all know how I feel about Mama Durant. And he's a two-time champion, the two-time NBA Finals MVP, and one of the greatest players that has ever graced this game. And people get on him about his sensitivity because he'll clap back at people on Twitter and all of that other stuff. Well, I see that in reverse. Although I wouldn't advise him to comment about everything everybody says, I love the fact that he is the one, doggy that would respond to you rather than sending a hanger on or somebody else to do it for him. If he has an issue with you, he's man enough to address it with you. And I respect the hell out of him for that. And I'm personally, I'm very, very fond of him. Having said all of that, there is no way around it. If the Golden State Warriors advance to the finals, if it's not happening already, Doggy, if the Golden State Warriors advance to the finals, I have been on the record, Doggy, saying, unfortunately and totally unfair to him, people will remember him more as being the dude who left Steph Curry for Kyrie Irving than they'll remember the championships. Because that's how idiotic that move appears to be as of right now because of how unreliable Kyrie Irving has been. Kyrie Irving taking time off. Kyrie Irving getting injured. Kyrie Irving taking his positions politically and otherwise, being distracted from the game of basketball. Kyrie Irving, the vaccine mandated, 98% of the league, 99% of the league gets vaccinated. But Kyrie's going to hold firm. Yeah, all of that's fine. Individually speaking, perfectly his right, but it left Kevin Durant hanging because Kevin Durant was the one left holding the bag, having to hold down the Brooklyn franchise on his back, knowing that he would need that help. That's a decision KD made because KD insisted to the Brooklyn Nets, I want to be here with Kyrie Irving. That's why the Brooklyn Nets took Kyrie Irving to begin with, because they knew they couldn't get KD without Kyrie. So the fact that that decision was made, that's why there should be regret leaving Golden State. You had a structured environment where all you had to do was ball, which is all he wants to do during basketball season. He just wants to ball. He don't want no drama. He don't want no nonsense. All he wants to do is ball. And you were able to do that in Golden State. Everything evolved around basketball. Here in Brooklyn, because of who his teammate is and who his road dog is, his buddy, the fact is, it's far more than that, and it's a distraction, and as a result, he has paid for it. He's been in Brooklyn. They've got one playoff series win on their resume. Golden State may be going back to the finals. Yeah, but obviously a lot of this season was not – none of the season was Kevin Durant's fault in terms of, of course on not. the court. It's right? not his fault. Yeah, so, no, of course. I just want to make that clear. But, Matt, mm -hmm. Doug, I want to have, ask you this. Do you have an issue with Shaq making that comment or sharing that comment? Absolutely. I mean, and he, Stephen A is 100% right. I mean, I would – Durant wouldn't know me as far as he can throw me. But yeah. I love Durant. I'm with him 1,000%. He made a terrible mistake joining with Irving. We all know that. Shaq. Oh, no, no, Shaq. Be fair. All right? He came to the Nets with an Achilles tear. So he didn't play at all in that first year. Then he had to deal with all the COVID nonsense, which was a disaster. He had he, contact testing. He missed a lot of games. And then last year, Harden couldn't move. 
Irving hurt his ankle, and all he did against Milwaukee was average 35 a game, and they gave me the stats. I don't remember exactly, but he had 47 in Game 5 and 48 in Game 7, and if his toe wasn't on the line, they would have beaten the Bucks and probably would have won the championship. So the idea, this year, tough year. No argument. He had a bad series. I, embarrassing. No argument. But, geez, I mean, to sit there and say what a disaster that he was that he left the, the Warriors, that's not fair. That's completely not fair. Here's Shaq. Let's face it, Shaq. You know, he left Kobe. Let's not forget that. He left the great star to go to the Miami. Now, he won a championship in Miami as a spare part, but he left Kobe, and Shaq never not could true. make big free throws. And Shaq, you know, was not going up against the great center when he played. I mean, I love Shaq. He's got great personality. We all love him. But let's be careful with Shaq that he's all of us in the great Aristotle and the greatest player in the history of the NBA because he isn't. But And that's unfair to call. And he made a good point about Durant. Now, the, the, the difference, the, the mistake that Stevie A made, and amongst a few of them, is that the going to the finals is not enough for Curry. Curry's got to win a championship. Okay? The idea that he goes to the finals and loses to Boston or Miami, well, he showed everybody that he can win without Durant. No, he hasn't. And again, that no. first championship that he won, he's lucky he won it because Cleveland was terribly injured. Right. No Irving, no love. He would have lost if those two played. Mm -hmm. He lost to Irving with a 3-1 lead in the second title. And then he got Durant, they won two titles. So it's not like Curry's won eight championships without Durant. He's won well, one shakily, and he hasn't uh, won another one since. So let's take it easy about okay. how Curry has done this without Durant, and Durant's done nothing without Curry. If okay. Durant had anybody playing with him last year, they would have beaten Milwaukee. And mm. if his feet were not too big, he would have beaten them in game seven. The thing mm. where the foot with the toe was on the line. Mm. And that's just a millimeter no, you know, for you know, crying out loud. So be you fair. Know, Shaq, be fair. The, you be fair. Well, the let moment. me say this here. Let me, first, first of all, I'm always fair. Let's get that out of the way. I'm Mr. Fair. I mean, I'm Mr. Fair right there. That, that, that's who I am. That's number one. Number two, you know what, Dougie? I mean, I know you're a little bit older than me, but I feel like right now is one of them arguments that I used to have with my dad. God rest his soul. You know, you know, diehard Yankee fan and all of this other stuff. And no matter what position he took, I had to educate him sometimes, even though he knew his history and he knew the facts. But it was his perspective on the facts that I challenged. And see, that's the thing about going up against Mad Dog Russo. So many people will try to come at you like you don't know the facts. See, they don't know the secret that I know. Oh, you know what the hell you're talking about. You've got your facts in order. The problem is your perspective is a bit skewed. So let me educate you on some right. things, okay? <laughs> Number one, when we talk about Steph Curry, let's understand something here, okay? I never said that getting to the finals was enough and that's all he had to do. The comparison co to contextualize my argument is that by going to the finals and us talking about him in the finals, but we ain't talking about Kevin Durant, we were going to look at Kevin Durant and said, you left him for Kyrie. That's the point that I was making because you left a structured environment with a guy that clearly loves the game and he's all about playing basketball just like you, Kevin Durant, and you were about going someplace on your own but choosing Kyrie Irving as a compadre as opposed to Steph Curry. Now, as a basketball player, Kyrie Irving is sensational. As far as I'm concerned, he's on that Steph Curry level. The brother's spectacular. And Kyrie Irving is a Hall of Fame talent. But in terms of the drama that comes along with them, considering right. the fact that Kevin Durant is against drama, he don't want no parts of that interfering with a basketball season and a basketball team. It seemed foolhardy for him to make that selection. That's all I was saying about the Steph Curry thing going to the finals in terms or Kevin Durant. That's number one. Number two, let me educate you about something you were factually incorrect about. Which is? Shaquille O'Neal did not leave Los Angeles and end up in Miami. He was forced out. Dr. Buss made a decision and had tipped Kobe Bryant. We know I know this. I'm giving you facts. God rest his soul. Pick but the one I, I, guy but, over the other. I understand. No, 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 no. Yeah. Dr. Buss made the decision because Shaq was looking at that time 100 million dollar contracts wasn't going out of style. I mean I mean I mean it was I mean it was it was it was it was, it was not that uh easy to come by the way that it is today. Shaq wanted big paper. He was looking for a longer term commitment and Kobe Bryant wasn't as interested in playing with him anymore. So Kobe Bryant made that clear to Dr. Buss and Dr. Buss made the call that I'm going to have my faith in Kobe Bryant moving forward into the future at the expense of Shaquille O'Neal. And that's why Shaquille O'Neal was traded 
to Miami. And when Shaquille O'Neal was traded to Miami, there was a whole bunch of hate thrown in Kobe Bryant's direction because how could you get rid of the big Aristotle, the diesel? What the hell is going on? It wasn't Shaq's choice. It was Kobe Bryant who made that call and Dr. Buss supported him. That is not walking out the door and departing for South Beach. That's being forced out the door, landing right. on your feet, and winning a championship That's anyway. That's, it. That's what happened. We're up against it. Work with me here. Let me get in a break, and if you need to finish anything after that, we can. Uh, still ahead here on First Take with Tiger Woods eyeing a major championship.